To protect your investment and obtain best results, it is important to use only Schiller accessories and supplies with your system. Ordering information can be found through a number of sources, in our product literature, through our distributors, and through our customer hotline. You can also find answers to many of your questions on our website at www.schilleramerica.com. Patient Prep Procedure The patient prepares by removing the necessary clothing. Once the patient is ready, take a moment to explain the ECG test procedure, answer any questions, and assure the patient that they will not experience any discomfort. When performing a resting ECG, it is very important to ensure the patient is in a comfortably warm room and is relaxed prior to the test. The quality of the ECG depends greatly on the strength of the signal derived from the electrodes. To provide the best contact, it may be necessary to shave the contact area prior to cleaning. Thoroughly clean and prepare each electrode site with alcohol and allow each area to dry before placing the self-adhesive resting electrodes. Start by placing the white RA lead on the right arm a few inches from the inside of the wrist. Then place the black LA lead on the left arm. Place the green RL lead slightly above the ankle on the front part of the right leg. Then place the red LL lead on the left leg. The left leg placement is critical since this is the grounding electrode. If this is not done correctly, there will be no conduction resulting in no ECG waveform. After legs and arm are done, move to the patient's chest area. The tech should find the clavicle, then place the red V1 lead at the right sternal border of the fourth intercostal space. Place the yellow V2 electrode at the left sternal border of the fourth intercostal space, approximately three inches apart. Place blue V4 at the fifth intercostal space on the mid-clavicular line. Green V3 should be placed in a straight line directly between V2 and V4. Orange V5 is placed directly on midline, even with V4, and staying on the same line. Place violent V6 on the side. This illustration shows where the electrodes should be placed. Connect the lead wires to the electrodes. Once all electrodes and leads are placed, you are ready to perform the ECG.